Welcome to video 3 for this unit on proportional relationships and percentages. In this video, we're going to focus on applications of percentages. Many places have sales tax. A sales tax is an amount of money that a government agency collects on the sale of certain items. The tax rate is often given as a percentage of the cost. For example, the sales tax in Arizona is 7.5%. If someone buys a t-shirt for $11.50, the sales tax is 0.075 multiplied by 11.5 or 0.8625 which rounds to 86 cents. The total cost of an $11.50 shirt after applying 7.5% sales tax is $12.36. Since 11.50 plus 0 0.86 equals 12.36. The total cost to the customer is the item price plus the sales tax. We can think of this as a percent increase because the total cost to a customer is 107.5% of the price listed on the tag, since 100 plus 7.5 is 107.5. Another type of percent increase is giving a tip at a restaurant. A tip is an amount of money that a person gives someone who provides a service. For example, if a restaurant bill is $34 and the customer pays $40, they left $6 as a tip for the server. We can find the percent that the tip is of the bill by dividing the tip by the bill. 6 divided by 34 is approximately 0 0.18. From the customer's perspective, we can think of this as an 18% increase of the restaurant bill. We can represent the situation with a tape diagram like this. Now let's consider a situation involving a percent decrease. Suppose a rope was 2.4 meters long. Someone cut it down to 1.9 meters. What percent decrease is this? Here are two ways to understand that the length of the rope decreased by 20.8%. We could first find that the rope is now 0 0.5 meters shorter because 2.4 minus 1.9 equals 0 0.5. We can then divide this decrease by the original length, 0 0.5 divided by 2.4 equals about 0 0.208. This means the length of the rope decreased by approximately 20.8%. We could also find that the rope's new length is 79.2% of the original length because 1.9 divided by 2.4 is about 0 0.792. This means the length decreased by 20.8% because 100 minus 79.2 equals 20.8%. There are many everyday situations where a percentage of an amount of money is added to or subtracted from that amount in order to be paid to some other person or organization. When we borrow money, like with loans or credit cards, interest is added to the balance of the loan or credit card and is paid to the lender we borrowed the money from. 
A markup is when a percent of the total cost of an item is added to the price of an item so the seller can make a profit. A markdown is when a percent of the total cost of an item is subtracted from the price of an item to encourage the customer to buy it. A commission is when a percent of the total cost of an item is subtracted from the payment that is collected and given to the salesperson. For example, a realtor helps a family sell their home for $200,000. If the realtor earns a 3% commission, then the realtor makes $6,000 because 200,000 multiplied by 0 0.03 equals 6,000. This means that the family makes $194,000 because 200,000 minus 6,000 equals 194,000. From the family's perspective, we can think of this as a 3% decrease on the sale price of the home. Thank you for watching video 3 of 4 for this unit on proportional relationships and percentages.